Hey guys, this is Jonathan Lampell here from Blender HD, and in this quick video tip, I'm going to show you how to use custom layouts to improve your workflow. So, this is the default factory settings that you get when you open up Blender. And up here, in the top left, there are different layouts. You can choose from 3D view full, animation, compositing, game logic, and basically for every task, or most tasks, you have a layout. But what happens if you don't really want that layout? Say, for instance here, I don't really like how tall this is. You know, I'm used to the smaller timelines in, you know, Max or Maya, and so I want it kind of small to increase my 3D viewport. Maybe I don't want this so squished, so I want to increase it a little bit so the buttons have enough room. But then, if I, you know, close this and open it up again, then the settings won't stay the same. So, the way to do this is just tweak all of the settings that you want, you know, move the panels around, maybe you want to split a window. To do so, you just drag, drag this little uh, bump icon here, and just drag, and to uh, delete a window, just take this one, and, oops, drag it that way, in the opposite direction. So if I want to save this, then I can go to File, and Save User Settings, and then when I open it back up, it'll be exactly this. But to even uh, for even better customization, you can edit the uh, layouts. So for instance, I don't really like how this is set up. You know, you've got the default, and they seem kind of random. There's a 3D full view that you know could be used for previewing a model and animation, compositing, and it doesn't seem like it's in you know an order that's intuitive to my workflow. It might be for somebody's, but not necessarily mine. So, what I would do is just choose one that you like best. Say I'll start with that. I'll start with the default, and I want to make this one my modeling layout. So I'm going to in the uh, box here. I'm going to type zero one dash modeling. So the zero one puts it at the very front, at the very top of the list, and names it modeling. So then I can customize this any way I want say I want to set up the quad view for my modeling and so I can press N go down to display and toggle quad view so this is my modeling layout so if I go you know back and forth it doesn't matter I still have the same layout and this can be very handy so I you could go ahead and do this in you know any order you'd like say you don't necessarily want the 3D full view so you can just click a select and it'll delete it completely from the list. Say for, you know, animation, you know, you could change anything you'd like. You know, you could make the windows bigger or smaller, maybe you use the uh, curves a little bit more often than a dope sheet. Really, whatever you'd like. So, another tip is not only customizing it, but putting them in order. Because you can use the uh, keyboard shortcut control and your arrow keys to switch between layouts when you're hovering in the 3D view. This doesn't work if you're hovering over the timeline, or it does. Okay, so it works anywhere on the screen. And this is very handy. But, you know, these aren't really in intuitive order. I don't usually go straight from modeling to animation to compositing. I mean, Sometimes it is, but usually I'd have UV editing first or whatever. So for me, what I have set up is I have first a modeling, and then I added a new one, and I named this one 02-lighting. And I have a lighting layout specifically for lighting, because what it does is it not only reminds me that lighting is very key and important, because it's oftentimes forgotten, it provides an easy layout for me when I'm working in cycles. So all I do is I just split the window in half, press T to remove the toolbars, press numpad 0 to go into camera mode, and then Z just to remind me that this one is the rendered view. So that way, I can work on a model here, and in this window, I can go, if I'm in the Cycles Render Engine, 
I can see what the render will look like all the while changing the lighting. So after lighting, I usually have materials. Now it's similar to compositing, but it's not really the same. So I just take the, uh, the default modeling, duplicate it with a plus sign, and type 03 dash materials. Then this one, I'm going to take off the quad view. And for materials, I like to have a couple different windows. I like to have a 3D viewport, um, the node editor, and a 3D viewport with my camera perspective. So what I do is I split the window in half, again by dragging these uh, diagonal lines up, and then I'll take this and drag it right to split that in half. So there we go, and I'm going to press T in each of these windows to delete the toolbar because I don't want it. And in this bottom one, I'm going to change this to the node editor and make sure that it's set to materials. Then. In this view, I'm going to press uh, numpad 0, and to save space, I'm going to zoom in to, you know, however large my camera is, and then move this window to match the size. That way I don't have any wasted space on the sides, and I have as much movement as possible, or as much space as possible to move around in this window here. So all this is rendering, I can be setting up the materials, and tweaking objects' positions if need be. Okay, so you basically get the idea. Next, I would go, you know, make uh, UV editing. Maybe I'd do UV editing before materials. So if I wanted to change that, I'd do 03 dash UV editing. And then I would change the materials to 04. So the advantage to this is while you're working, and you don't necessarily have to go up here and click and do the, drag, uh, the drop down list or all of that to change the views. What you can do is just again control and your uh, arrow keys on your keyboard to quickly switch between. So you can go right from modeling and say, "Oh, I need to you know figure out the lighting," and just go quickly down your uh, down your pipeline, sort of. I mean, not like your work pipeline, but your uh, personal workflow preferences, and just kind of easily slide through it instead of you know having every single time to you know toggle quad view, lift up windows, to do all that sort of stuff is just very quick and easy and will really speed up your work process. So this is Jonathan Lampel from Blender HD and thank you for watching.